OPEC can definitely list sovereign. They're less likely to in the short term, but that's not neither here nor there. The more important thing is that sovereign is being designed as an ecosystem to be robust to this kind of thing by um, itself having a decentralized governance, uh, by uh, interacting with other systems which have decentralized governance, and perhaps most importantly, by um, working to build a system which has no external dependencies. And the most important external dependency uh, is centralized stablecoins. So already, um, Sovereign is already partly protected through um, XUSD. And with the introduction of the Sovereign dollar soon, which I expect will be in about two months, um, there'll be a Bitcoin-backed truly decentralized stablecoin, which will become the canonical stablecoin in Sovereign. The second uh, important thing uh, the second important externality is the um, actual fundamental system that you're working on. And Sovereign is um, secured by and um, its transactions are confirmed by Bitcoin proof of work, which is in incredibly robust. And so that and additional things in that vein, right, by reducing and having a very, very strong focus on reducing corruptible externalities, you're able to create an ecosystem which is very, very secure. And then um, later on, down the, uh, you know, as, as the technology matures, we'll also be able to add uh, anonymization by default. Um, and then with that level of privacy, uh, corruption becomes even more difficult. 